So it's not one bad day that these animals have to endure. Um, the entire lives of these animals that are raised for their flesh and secretions are pure misery. And in case you don't know, pigs are only six months old when they are slaughtered. They can live over 10 years, but they're just six months old when they are slaughtered. And during that six months that they are alive, they are forced to live in overcrowded, shit-filled sheds for six months before they're crammed onto a transport truck in the freezing cold of winter or in the stifling heat of summer to travel for hours with no food, no water, shitting and pissing on each other. When they arrive at that slaughterhouse, they do not go in willingly. They are forced to the kill floor. And you don't even have to go inside of a slaughterhouse to um, experience the horror, to stand outside and listen to what's happening inside. All just so you can sit down for a few minutes and eat some artery clogging carcinogenic crap. Yeah, bacon, in case you don't know, is carcinogenic. As carcinogenic as smoking cigarettes. Yeah, so if you're a parent and you're feeding your child bacon, that, that should be uh, child abuse. Yeah, like, it, is it okay for parents to, you know, like, let their 10-year-old children smoke cigarettes? Yeah, why are you letting your children eat bacon? Bacon is carcinogenic. That means it causes cancer. So does most meat. Um, yeah, the more meat, dairy, and egg products you consume, the more risk you have of cancer, heart disease, kidney disease, cerebrovascular disease, type 2 diabetes. This disgusting industry should be banned for more reasons than one. The animal agriculture industry is the most brutal industry by far that has ever existed. And it is the most environmentally destructive industry by far. And, and the products, the disgusting products that this vile industry puts out literally increases your risk of cancer, heart disease, kidney disease, diabetes, causing pandemics. Yeah, like bird flu, swine flu, um, it's crazy to not be vegan. Absolutely crazy to not be vegan. Um, I would think that when people learn the truth, that they, they go vegan. Because it literally makes no sense to know the truth and not be vegan. Um, I, I just, I, I just have a feeling that some people just don't believe me. And, um, and that's the problem. I, I think that, you know, people just go into a state of denial go into a state of denial when they're, they are faced with reality. They do not want to believe that they're involved in this cruelty. They don't want to believe it. They want to believe that, you know, that the animals uh, whose flesh they feast upon lived a good life in an open field, were killed very, very quickly and painlessly. Um, guarantee none of that's true. Guarantee. But say, even if you are paying, you know, you know, 70 pounds, $70 per pound for, for your meat, and you're getting like truly pasture raised animals remains, um, the better those animals are treated, the more they want to live. So even if you are paying a hell of a lot more money and truly getting like meat from a pasture raised animal, the better those animals are treated, the more they actually want to live. And the more of a betrayal it is when you have them robbed of their life over a fucking meal. Yeah, treating someone nice before you kill and eat them, that is not humane. That's psychotic. So yeah, you need to go vegan and you need to go vegan right now.
you need to go vegan and you absolutely need to go vegan right now unless you are you know a proud animal abuse supporter maybe you are maybe you are maybe you are proud that you're an animal abuse supporter um but if you don't want to be um funding animal abuse you need to go vegan and stop making excuses stop clowning around this isn't a this is not a game and none of this is fucking funny. It's certainly not fucking funny for your victims who are literally right at this moment suffering. There are countless animals right at this very moment suffering because of your food preferences. Because of your food preferences. If you're eating pork products right at this very moment, there are pigs suffering through hell just so you can sit down for a few minutes and feast on their flesh. And increase your risk of cancer and heart disease and kidney disease and diabetes and causing swine flu. And um, chicken. Chickens are killed at six weeks of age. These birds are bred to grow so fast and so large by the time they're only six weeks old, they're ready to be slaughtered. Like these birds here probably look like adult birds to you. They're not. They're babies. But they're forced to grow so fast and so large that some of these birds, like this one here, can't even stand up. Right now there are about 20 billion birds, billion chickens being raised for their flesh right at this very moment around the globe. 20 billion chickens right now living like this in overcrowded shit filled sheds. And when you're talking 20 billion birds, yeah, at least a few tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of these birds are literally laying there crippled like this bird can't move, can't get to the food, can't get to the water, left to lay there and die a slow death. Or you know what? What happens in a lot of cases on these factory farms where you get your food from, the workers will go through those sheds and literally wring the birds' necks and throw them in the trash. Yeah, because, you know, th those farmers do not pay vets to come and treat those birds or to even euthanize those birds because that would eat into their profits. And these sentient creatures are viewed as nothing more than property, nothing more than like a pair of shoes. And how many times do I see comments where, where these uh, animal abuse supporters say ridiculous Set things like, oh, animals don't have souls. Animals don't have souls. No, I think it's more like you don't have a soul. You don't, you don't have a soul. To think that these animals don't have a soul. And it's disgusting that people claim to be pro-life when they're not vegan. You are absolutely not pro-life. If you are not vegan, you are absolutely not pro-life. You are pro-death. You literally live off of death, suffering, misery, and death. And you literally eat babies. Again, chickens are just six weeks old when they're slaughtered. They're babies still. They might not look like babies, but that's because they're, they're bred to grow so fast and so large. But by six weeks of, old, of age, they're ready to be slaughtered. And a lot of these birds can't even stand up because their bodies can't handle the weight. How is this not animal abuse? How is that not animal abuse? How is it not animal, animal abuse to chop an animal's head off? How is that fucking not animal abuse to chop someone's head off? You know who else likes to chop the heads off of innocents? Um, terrorists. That's like what terrorists do. They like to chop the heads off of the innocent. Yeah. And that's what you're having done for every non-vegan product you consume. Literally having an innocent creature's head chopped off. Like a terrorist. 
No, it's not satire. It's disgusting that, that your brain can't function enough to comprehend this is an atrocity and you shouldn't be supporting it. You shouldn't be here turning this in, into a fucking joke. It's disgusting. You literally pay people to torture and kill animals all fucking day long. And then you come on my live stream and you literally joke about what you pay people to do to these poor animals for your sensory pleasure. Yeah, if sensory pleasure was a justification for victimizing others, there would be a lot of crimes that would not be crimes. But that's how meat eaters think. That's how they think. Oh, but my taste buds. Oh, it's so tasty. Chicken, so tasty. Bacon, so tasty. It's all about sensory pleasure. So torture the fuck out of these animals. Chop their fucking heads off because I'm getting my taste buds off tonight. So you're literally putting your taste buds, sensory pleasure above life, God-given life. You take God's creatures, you pay people to torture them and kill them as babies over sensory pleasure. Sensory pleasure. And you call yourself pro-life and you go to church and you think you're so holy, let Yet you're supporting the most unholy thing that has ever taken place. Animal agriculture is the most unholy thing fucking ever. Not just by what they're doing to these animals and the number of animals they're doing it to. Yeah, like right at this very moment, tens of billions Billions, tens of billions of animals right at this very moment suffering through pure hell. 20 billion chickens right now forced to live in overcrowded, shit-filled fucking sheds for six weeks so people could sit down for 10 minutes and stuff their face with artery-clogging carcinogenic crap. And again, if you take these animals off of these these hellish farms and these hellish slaughterhouses and you put humans in their place did the exact same things, they would be crimes of rape, kidnapping, theft, and murder. And that, it doesn't even end there. It doesn't even end there because this disgusting, vile industry is literally destroying this planet. Yeah, again, animal agriculture is the most unholy, unholy thing ever. Animal agriculture is literally destroying this planet. So if you believe in God, this unholy industry is destroying everything your God created. The animals, the forests, the rivers, the oceans, the air, all life on earth. We are on the brink of the sixth mass extinction. And this disgusting, vile industry is the main cause of it. And that's not even coming from me. That's coming from Oxford University. So let me pull this up for you, okay? Let me just pull this up for you, for all, for all you people calling me the crazy vegan, okay? Oh, take your meds, lady. I would have to be crazy to not be fucking angry, especially knowing that my fucking own tax dollars are being used to prop up the animal agriculture industry. My own tax dollars used to annihilate wild animals so the vile, disgusting, earth-destroying animal agriculture industry can maximize its profits. Millions, millions of wild animals killed every single year with taxpayer dollars to benefit those murderous monsters that raise animals for their flesh and secretions, torturing them, chopping their heads off like terrorists, terrorists, and they're destroying this planet. And let me read you this. Let me just try to calm down for a minute before I like, just calm down. <laughs> kind of hard to when, you know, the planet's literally being destroyed and everybody wants to, to defend 
to defend this vile, evil, disgusting, demonic industry. Yeah, so yeah, that, that's part of the reason why it's hard for me to stay so calm when everybody is like here to support the demons, okay? But here, from Oxford University, just so you know, this isn't coming from me, okay? It's not coming from me when I'm saying that this is the most disgusting industry that's ever existed and it's literally destroying the planet. And it's not coming from me. Oxford University. We face three epic defining environmental problems. Climate extinction and pestilence. Our climate is changing in ways that will have serious consequences for humans. And it may even profoundly affect the ability of the planet to support life. All around us, other species are disappearing at a rate between several hundred and several thousand times the normal background rate of extinction. The COVID virus, which has wreaked social and economic habit, is merely the latest model of a blossoming production line of newly emerging infectious diseases, many of which have the potential to be far worse. At the heart of these problems lies an ancient habit, eating animals. This habit is the most significant driver of species extinction and of newly emerging infectious diseases and one of the most important drivers of climate change. This is a habit we can no longer afford to indulge. And even, even Albert Einstein, even Albert Einstein, this is a quote by Albert Einstein. Nothing will benefit human health and increase the chances for survival of a life on earth as much as the evolution of a vegetarian diet. Yeah, and just so you know, eggs and dairy do not come from vegetation. So he's talking about a plant-based diet, a strict plant-based diet. So you clowns can keep on clowning around, but you're not doing any good. You're not here doing any good and that that's clear as day. That is clear as day that you are not here to do any good for anyone. You're here with your anti-vegan comments, literally promoting evil. You're literally promoting evil. With your meat emojis and all your other nasty anti-vegan comments, you're literally promoting evil. You're literally advocating for the devil. You are evil. Maybe the devil isn't real. But evil certainly is real. Evil mm -hmm. certainly is real. And when I talk about God, I'm talking about good. God is good. I don't believe in no fucking sky daddy. But yeah, I do believe in good. I do believe in doing good. And most people are doing the complete opposite. And look at all the people literally advocating for the devil. Advocating for the devil and his work. Devil's work. The devil has a hold of your soul. It doesn't have a hold of my soul. That's for sure. That's why I'm vegan. Because evil doesn't have a grip on me anymore. Used to, when I was growing up, I used to mindlessly consume animal products, pretending like, you know, everything's okay. As I ate away at the remains of animals who were tortured and killed. Thank God I fucking woke up. Thank God I escaped that animal killing cult. That demonic animal killing cult that's literally destroying the planet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe in his earlier years, maybe in his earlier years. Yeah, because again, I didn't stop eating, you know, bacon and filet mignon and all of those things because I didn't like eating those things. Yeah, I, I stopped eating those things because I saw how those disgusting products were produced. And I have a functioning brain and I have a heart and I have a soul. And I, I couldn't continue consuming those products knowing the truth. And that was even before. I went vegan even before I knew there was any health benefits. 
Because see, I was so completely brainwashed into thinking I had to consume animal products to be healthy that when I first went vegan, I was afraid I might not be able to stick with it because I was afraid, oh my God, my health might start to decline. And if my health starts to decline, I might have to go back to eating some animal products again. Well, actually my health significantly, significantly improved. And then I learned all of this awesome stuff like and Heart Association. Whether you're considering eating less meat or giving it up entirely, the benefits are clear. Less risk of disease and improved health and well-being. That is so fucking true. Uh, imagine that. The less animal carcasses you eat, the less uh, secretions you eat um, from a cow shit encrusted otter and a bird shit encrusted ass vagina, the healthier you're going to be. Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> Yeah, specifically less meat decreases the risk of heart disease, stroke, obesity, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and many cancers. The more meat you eat, the more risk you have of all of these very common and very deadly diseases. Um, and From the Mayo Clinic, researchers asked nearly 70,000 volunteers about their diets and tracked them over time. They found lower cancer rates among people who didn't eat meat at all. In fact, vegans, those who don't eat any animal products, including fish, dairy, or eggs, appear to have the lowest rates of cancer of any diet. Yeah, there's a good chance, very, very, very good chance. You and or a very close loved one of yours will end up getting cancer, maybe already has cancer. A plant-based diet? can help fight cancer, can help prevent cancer. Um, but yeah, keep on calling me crazy. Um, American Institute for Cancer Research. No single food can protect you against cancer by itself, but research shows that a diet filled with a variety of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans, and other plant foods helps lower risk for many cancers. In laboratory studies, many individual minerals, vitamins, and phytochemicals demonstrate anti-cancer effects. The list of foods that help fight cancer from the American Institute for Cancer Research are all plant-based foods on that list. There's no meat, no dairy, no eggs, not even any seafood items on that list of foods that help fight cancer. What is on this list is uh, fruits, vegetables, berries, beans, grains, legumes, nuts, seeds. Um, even soy is on this list of foods that help fight cancer. And the soy that is used in the plant-based meat alternatives is the GMO-free soy. Um, the genetically modified... Yeah, and what is this? What is this? This is a screenshot of a TikTok that I um, duetted. The dairy farmer. Dairy farmer here on TikTok. Uh, taking a calf from their mother. I think this is a boy. Um, can't really tell too good from that. But, um, if this is a boy, this, this little boy will be killed within weeks. So you can consume his baby food. In case you don't know, um, dairy cows do not produce milk because they're dairy cows. Dairy cows produce milk because they are mothers. That milk is food for their babies, not for you. But in the dairy industry, they forcibly impregnate these dairy cows. In other words, they sexually assault them. Yeah, if you were to force semen into a woman without her consent, like they do to the dairy cows, I uh, seriously doubt you would call that artificial insemination like these bozos. 
call call it. It's not artificial insemination. It's sexual assault. And it's bestiality. Um, yeah, because the bulls, to get that semen to force into this cow, they masturbate him until he ejaculates. Sexual relations between a human and an animal is absolutely bestiality. So yeah, they sexually assault animals. And then when this mother gives birth to her baby, they literally steal her baby. And this, this waste of a life right here, dairy farmer, literally doing a TikTok. Oh, let's see how this mother reacts to me taking her baby from her, huh? Huh? Yeah. And from the TikTok, you can see the mother cow, like most mother cows, chase after their babies. Chase after their babies. And this bitch is making it a fucking joke. Like it's something to fucking laugh about. Something to make a TikTok about. To laugh about. Stealing a baby from their mother. How evil. How disgusting. And let me show you what happens to these little boys. Let me show you before I sign off tonight. Let me show you. Let me show you. Um, if you go to Kinder World Calf Slaughter and um, you just Google it, Kinder World Calf Slaughter. Um, let me just see. Okay. Okay, so Kinder World Calf Slaughter. And let me show you what happens to all of these little boy calves. Let me show you. As soon as I clear this thing and type in Kinder World Calf Slaughter. Kinder world, calf slaughter, let's see. Okay, there it is, there it is. So let me flip this around before I sign off tonight, okay? Um, and then maybe you'll understand why I'm so angry. And consumers need to know the truth. So I'm gonna tell you the truth because you need to know the truth so you can make educated choices. Because I really think most people are consuming dairy products because they don't know any better. Because they really don't know what's happening. They really don't know that these cows have to be pregnant. That, that they're, they're literally eating baby food. And a baby is dying so that they can eat that baby food. In the form of ice cream and cheese and other uh, dairy products. So let me flip this around and uh, let me show you the truth. The truth, the truth about dairy. This is what's going to happen to this little calf. Um, so you can consume dairy products. Now you tell me that um, this is something you want to be a part of. Because I know for sure I don't want any part of this. known this sooner that I could have um, not ever been involved in this type of evil. This is what's going to happen to that little calf. And I'm going to show it to you right now. All the male calves born on dairy farms are taken from their mothers and they're sent to slaughter. This is a slaughterhouse where they are slaughtering the male calves taken off of their mothers from dairy farms. This is what they, they do to them. You think these people that work in these slaughterhouses are nice people? Really? Really? You think slaughterhouse workers are nice people? Really? No, these people literally get off abusing animals. They get off abusing animals. This is, they literally get paid. They get paid abusing animals. And they love it. They love it. Look how they're whipping these little babies around. These are 
Little baby animals. They should be with their mothers, but they're not. They're actually in a slaughterhouse being hacked to pieces by a bunch of evil motherfuckers. Evil motherfuckers beating them, whipping them around. They're going to have their heads chopped off, their skin ripped off of their body. So you can have a cheese motherfucking pizza. When there's actually uh, such a thing as vegan pizza, vegan cheese, vegan ice cream, um, vegan butter, vegan everything. Anything and everything you currently consume can be veganized. And uh, the vegan versions are going to be uh, much better for your health and absolutely much more environmentally sustainable. It's insane to not be vegan. It's evil to not be vegan. Because when you're not vegan, you're literally funding, you're literally funding evil. 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 This is evil. This is what you're funding. You're literally funding evil. Now you know the truth. Now you know the truth. Whose side are you on? God's side or the devil's side? God's side or the devil's side? I'm on the side of good. I'm definitely not on the side of evil. I want to see evil destroyed. I want to rid the world of evil. How do you do that? Well, the very first step, go vegan. Go vegan. Why do you think there's so much violence and suffering and death and injustice in our own society? Yeah, because it's all society does. Every morning, every afternoon, every evening. So all people do is consume products that come from hell, that come from abuse, violence, suffering, injustice. And then that's what you see reflected in society. The same thing. It's because what you're consuming and, and you're not even thinking twice about it. And when it's brought to your attention, you play victim. You're playing the fucking victim. You're not the victim. So stop reporting my content because you are not the victim. These victims deserve to have their stories told. They deserve to have the motherfuckers who are putting them through this hell see what they're putting them through. Every time you consume a non-vegan product, you are putting an animal through hell and you should have to go visit you should have to spend a day at a slaughterhouse. You should have to spend a day in a factory farm. Sleeping on a shit covered floor. Since you think it's okay. Since you think it's okay. Since you think it's okay. You're the one supporting this hell. You should at least have to see what you're supporting. And nobody's going to tell me this is okay. Nobody is going to tell me this is okay because it's not okay. And it's pure evil. The animal agriculture industry is the most evil, most destructive industry ever. And it's literally destroying our planet. It is literally destroying our planet. Animal agriculture is destroying our planet. And even for you vegetarians, this is what you're supporting you're still supporting extreme violence, extreme cruelty against innocent creatures, baby, baby animals tortured and killed so you can consume dairy products. Who in their right mind can think this is okay? And who in their right mind can look at what you're doing to these animals and make a mockery of it? How disgusting, how disgusting that there's people literally watching this horrible evil that they're they're causing and joke about it. Well, that says that that says a lot about what type of person you are. You're literally on the side of evil, advocating for evil. And then you wonder why. You wonder why we're on the brink, not just the sixth mass extinction, because of your your eating habits, animal agriculture is literally causing the sixth mass extinction. We're literally on the brink of World War III. Yeah, it's a reflection. It's a reflection of society. People all over the world consuming, 
consuming products derived from violence and cruelty and injustice. And that's all you see around you. Violence, cruelty, injustice, because that's all you consume. Yeah, you could keep on laughing, but um, I'm going to keep on exposing animal agriculture for the evil industry it is. And again, this is the dairy industry. This is what happens to all those male calves born to those dairy cows. Because in case you don't know, dairy cows do not produce milk because they're dairy cows. Dairy cows produce milk because they are mothers. That, that milk is baby is food for their babies, but their babies are stolen. And if they're boys like these here, these are all boys, male calves taken from their mothers off of dairy farms, this is what happens to them. So you can consume their baby food in the form of artery clogging carcinogenic crap. So go vegan, stop making excuses. Stop making excuses. And for any decent person watching this live stream, if you're not vegan yet, you need to go vegan right now. And I hope these ignorant comments from these uh, devil worshipers um, are going to promote you to go vegan right now, right now. There's no reason to not be vegan and do it right now. Right here on this app, just do a search for vegan recipes. You can come across endless vegan recipes right here on TikTok. Uh, Google, Google um, happy cow net. You'll find vegan and vegan friendly restaurants in any city. So easy to be vegan. It's the best thing you can do for your health. It's the best thing you can do for the planet. And it's obviously the best thing you can do to help uh, put an end to animal cruelty.